accounting standards are standard accounting policies and practices formulated to have uniformity in the accounting policies to be followed in the preparation of financial statements throughout the world accounting standards are policies and guidelines with regard to the principles and methods to be followed in the preparation of financial statements such as profit loss account balance sheet funds flow statement cash flow statement etc these are policy documents issued by government or other expert accounting bodies related with how the accounting transactions are measured treated and disclosed in the financial statements ലോകത്തെല്ലായിടത്തും ഫിനാൻഷ്യൽ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റുകൾ തയ്യാറാക്കുന്നതിന് സ്വീകരിക്കുന്ന നയങ്ങളിൽ സമാനത ഉണ്ടായിരിക്കുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടി അതായത് ഫിനാൻഷ്യൽ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റുകൾ തയ്യാറാക്കുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടി സ്വീകരിക്കുന്ന നയങ്ങൾ ഒരേപോലെ ആയിരിക്കുന്നതിന് വേണ്ടി രൂപം നൽകപ്പെടുന്ന മാനദണ്ഡങ്ങൾക്കാണ് അക്കൗണ്ടിംഗ് സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ്സ് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഗവൺമെന്റ് അല്ലെങ്കിൽ വിദഗ്ധ അക്കൗണ്ടിംഗ് സമിതികളാണ് അക്കൗണ്ടിംഗ് സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ്സിന് രൂപം നൽകുന്നത് നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് importance of accounting standards the following are the points of importance of accounting standards first point elimination of variations in accounting treatment accounting standards eliminate variations or differences in the accounting treatments in preparing the financial statements number 2 helps in the disclosure of information accounting standards helps in the disclosure of such information the disclosure of which may not be compulsory as per the law neema anusarichu velippadutapadeyanda aavashyam illatha chila vivarangal accounting standards anusarichu velippadutapadeyandi vara adagond athram vivarangalude velippadutapadalinu accounting standards sahayikkum number 3 helps in comparison of financial statements accounting standards helps to compare the financial statements of different firms at different places as they are prepared uniformly as required by the accounting standards number 4 helps to increase the confidence of investors as financial statements are to be prepared according to the accounting standards window dressing of the statements that is showing a better position than the actual can be reduced and the same will increase the confidence of investors last point of importance number 5 helps to reduce fluctuations in the value of shares as financial statements are prepared as per the accounting standards manipulations in the statements can be reduced it helps to reduce fluctuations in the values of shares at the share market now accounting standards board asb Accounting Standards Board is a board constituted in April 1977 to have uniformity in the accounting policies and practices followed in the country. The board consists members nominated by the Institute of Chartered Accountants of India and they make suggestions for setting accounting standards. Accounting standards are to be suggested considering the prevailing laws customs and business environment in the country next it is applicability of accounting standards for the purpose of applying the accounting standards enterprises are classified into three categories they are number 1 level 1 enterprises number 2 level 2 enterprises number 3 level 3 enterprises now first it is level 1 enterprises level 1 enterprises are enterprises which fall in any one or more of the following categories at any time during the accounting period number 1 enterprises whose equity or debt securities are list in india or outside india number 2 enterprises which are in the process of listing their equity or debt securities three banks including cooperative banks four financial institutions five enterprises carrying on insurance business six 
all commercial, industrial and business enterprises whose turnover for the immediately preceding accounting period on the basis of audited financial statements exceed 50 crores. Number 7. All commercial, industrial and business enterprises having borrowings including public deposits in excess of rupees 10 crores. Number 8. Enterprises holding the subsidiary enterprises of any one of the above. Now second it is level 2 enterprises. Level 2 enterprises are enterprises which are not level 1 enterprises but fall in any one or more of the following categories. Number 1. All commercial, industrial and business enterprises whose turnover for the immediately preceding accounting period exceeds 40 lakhs but does not exceed rupees 50 crores. Number 2. All commercial, industrial and business enterprises having borrowings including public deposits in excess of 1 crore but not in excess of rupees 10 crores. Level 3 enterprises are enterprises which are not coming under level 1 and level 2. Now AS1 Disclosure of Accounting Policies There are many areas or items for which different treatments are there under different circumstances. For instance there are different methods for charging depreciation such as straight line method or fixed method return down value method or diminishing or reducing balance method annuity method revaluation method etc similarly there are different methods for the valuation of inventories or stock such as fifo method lifo method simple average method weighted average method etc there may be different methods for the valuation of fixed assets valuation of investments treatment of retirement benefits, treatment of contingent liability, etc. Accounting standard 1 states that the policies or methods followed in the preparation of financial statements should be disclosed because it is required for the proper and better understanding of the financial statements. The policies should be disclosed at one place helpful to the reader of financial statements. Moreover, if there is any change in the accounting policies from one period to next period and such change affects profitless account and balance sheet, then such change should also be disclosed in the financial statements. The amount by which the financial statements are affected must be disclosed along with to the extent ascertainable. Now AS2, Valuation of Inventories. Accounting standard 2 is concerned with the computation of cost of inventories and determining the value of inventories at which it is to be shown in the balance sheet. As per accounting standard 2, inventories or stock includes the following. Number 1. Items held for sale that is finished goods. Number 2. Items held or in the process of production for sale, that is, raw materials and work in progress. Number three, items of materials and supplies to be consumed or used in the process of production or rendering of services, that is, stores, spares, consumables, etc. According to accounting standard two, inventories should be valued or measured at cost to price or net realizable value that is selling price less cost if any to bring it to saleable condition whichever is lower. AS 9 Revenue Recognition Accounting Standard 9 deals with the time when the revenue be recognized as earned in the profit loss account. According to this accounting standard, revenue from sale of goods or rendering of services should be recognized at the time of the sale or rendering of services. However, if at the time of sale or rendering of services, 
if there is any significant uncertainty in the collection of revenue the revenue recognition that is the time of revenue recognition is postponed and in such a case revenue should be recognized only when it becomes certain that it will be collected when revenue recognition is postponed the circumstances for the postponement should be disclosed in the financial statement varavugal nediyadai profit loss account il angeekarikkunna allengil kanakkaakunna samayavumayi bandhapettadana ee accounting standard ee accounting standard anusarichu saadhanangal vilkkumbol allengil sevanangal nalgumbol avayil ninnulla varumanam nediyadai angeekarikkanam allengil kanakkaakanam adhaayidu panam kittanamunnilla കിട്ടാനുള്ള അടിസ്ഥാനത്തിൽ അത് നേടിയതായി കണക്കാക്കണം എ എസ് ടെൻ അക്കൗണ്ടിംഗ് ഫോർ ഫിക്സ്ഡ് അസെറ്റ്സ് അക്കൗണ്ടിംഗ് സ്റ്റാൻഡേർഡ് ടെൻ ഈസ് കൺസേർഡ് വിത്ത് അക്കൗണ്ടിംഗ് ഓഫ് ഫിക്സ്ഡ് അസെറ്റ്സ് സച്ച് ആസ് ലാൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ബിൽഡിംഗ്സ് ലാൻഡ് ആൻഡ് മെഷീനറി ഫർണിച്ചർ ആൻഡ് ഫിറ്റിംഗ്സ് എക്സെട്ര ഫിക്സ്ഡ് അസെറ്റ്സ് ഷുഡ് ബി ഷോൾ ഇൻ ദി ഫിനാൻഷ്യൽ സ്റ്റേറ്റ്മെന്റ്സ് ഐദർ അറ്റ് ഹിസ്റ്റോറിക്കൽ കോസ്റ്റ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ദി cost at which they are acquired or purchased less accumulated depreciation and impairment cost or at the revalued price that is the price as per the revaluation of assets by a competent valuer less depreciation and impairment cost when a fixed asset is revalued an entire class or group of assets should be revalued otherwise that is if only certain assets are revalued then the selection of assets for valuation should be done on a systematic basis and that basis should be disclosed as 19 leases leasing is an arrangement by which one party called the lesser gives the right to use an asset for a given period of time to another party called the lessee on rent that is on rent basis lease is classified into two categories a finance lease b operating lease a finance lease finance lease is a lease in which substantially that is physically incidental to the asset that is related to the asset is transferred by the lesser to the lessee but not the legal ownership is transferred b operating lease it is a lease in which substantially that is physically all the risks and rewards in surrender to the asset are not transferred now accounting for finance lease first in the books of the lessee the transactions are recorded by their substance nature not by their legal nature therefore the lease is the lease asset is treated as an asset by the lessee now in the books of the lesser it is treated as the lesser sells the asset to the lessee therefore an amount equal to the net investment in the leased asset is treated as the amount receivable and credit is given to the asset or sale of asset now accounting of operating lease first in the books of the lesser lesser records the asset in the balance sheet charges depreciation takes lease income and expenses in the profit loss account now in the books of the lessee in the books of the lessee lease payment is recorded as an expense in the profit and loss account For the easy access of the classes please subscribe the channel it is free by clicking the subscribe option and for getting notifications click the bell icon below